everyone welcome to another video we're going to backtrack this one to the last episode i've been slated a little bit in the message section about people like this phone in hand headphones on not paying attention at all people are actually slating me saying that they're allowed to do it allowed to cross the road like that they're allowed to cross wherever they want basically and this one here I also got slated for I mean you can clearly see it's a red light for me but then when their light changes to red ie a red man there and there you see the bike who's, who's actually not on a bike the bike rider crossing the road on a red man he started his journey on a red man these two here and then this idiot on the left people said that I should wait for him and technically according to the highway code yes I suppose you are and this one here again this guy here he just walks out he walks out so fast that he almost walks into the side of one of the cars there he had to check himself because he almost walked into the side of it it's crazy now in the highway code rules 1 to 35 is all about pedestrians and how they should or shouldn't cross a road but apparently that means nothing it means absolutely nothing they don't take any safety guidelines whatsoever from the highway code but drivers because we have got a driving license it's all down to us how times have changed when i was a young lad you were taught how to cross a road properly and i'm going to show you that now we are going to jump back about 40 years plus yes i'm that old we're going to go back 40 years plus where they used to do british public information videos basically like an advert and i'm going to show you a few of them now and you watch the difference how we were taught and how they're not taught today incidentally if you didn't know the green cross code it's called okay it's called the green cross code the green cross code man was this guy Darth Vader, he also did Darth Vader. So watch the first clip and let me know what you think. Incidentally, the Green Cross Code is still in the Highway Code. You won't believe it, but it's still in there. But here's the clip anyway. Hi there. Uh-oh, this looks dangerous. Will they see that car? Think I better have a word with those two. That wasn't very clever, was it? If you'd been looking and listening all the way across, that wouldn't have happened. That's better. Remember, always use the Green Cross code, because I won't be there when you cross the road. Now, did you notice it? Not once was the driver of the car blamed. Not once. It was all down to the children crossing the road. So why has it changed? Tell me, why has it changed? Here's another one. Emergency! Calling Green Cross Man! Green Crosses! Where do you think you're going, you Dumbo? Green Cross! When you get to the curb, always stop, stop, stop! Sorry, Green Cross. Remember, stop near the curb, not on it. That's the way. Always use the Green Cross code, because I won't be there when you cross the road. Did you notice it again? All the responsibility put on the pedestrian what's changed why has it changed so we're going forward 40 years now i'm going to show you another clip of how they cross the road now with their children we're looking over to the left hand side we've got a mum and two kids the kids are on scooters and not once not once do they look over their shoulder to see if there's a car coming I'm using some of the sound from one of the previous clips. It could actually almost work if there was two of them. Hi there. Uh-oh, this looks dangerous. Will they see that car? Think I better have a word with those two. That wasn't very clever, was it? If you'd been looking and listening all the way across, that wouldn't have happened. And yes, I know they've got priority, but does it stop them looking for their own safety? Now we move on. As you can see, I let someone go. I'm not that much of a bar humbug all the time. But we move on to the next problem. 
And some of you may have seen these clips before. Sorry about that. But we're looking over to the left, two people over to the left, the young lad who's just about to cross now, and the one, the parent behind him. The parent is only just looking now as he's crossing the, the drop curb there. That's too late. And obviously the kid is halfway in the road. Doesn't look once to see if there's a bike. And the father is only just looking now to see if there's a bike coming up the outside. It's too late. And then walks in to a bike lane. Again, look how far the crossing is. You can see what I'm getting at, I hope, anyway. How I was taught and how people are teaching their children out across the road. Now let's go back 40 years again. Look, it's Green Cross Man. Looks like you two need a lesson in crossing the road. My little friend is going to show you how. First, find a safe place to cross. Here? A safe place away from parked cars, where you can see the road is clear and drivers can see you. Stop near the curb, but not too close. Look all around and listen for traffic. If traffic is coming, let it pass. When there is no traffic near, walk straight across, looking and listening all the time. We won't be there when you cross the road, so always use the green cross pound. Again, all on the pedestrian, to be careful. Now, it wasn't just the Green Cross Code man that did these adverts as well. We had superstars of our generation doing it. People like Kevin Keegan, England footballer. It's probably equivalent now of maybe Harry Kane doing an advert like this now. Now, watch his advert. Now, apart from his funky clothes and the widest flares I've ever seen, it's still the same message. think you're playing at? Come here. That's no way to cross the road, is it? Come over here, I'll show you a safe place to cross. Now here, there's no parked cars to block your view. Nothing coming? Sure? Off you go. It's straight across, mind. Now keep your eyes open. It's part of the Green Cross Code. Take it from me. Be smart. Be safe. Now let's go forward 40 plus years. We're looking over to the left. A young family come walking out now. And we're looking at this one here. This last little boy there. I think it's a boy. They shouldn't be crossing now. And it stops. You see it stop in front of the dust cart? How bad is that? How are you teaching your kids to cross a road like that? It's beyond the joke. How dangerous is that? If you've driven a lorry before, you know sometimes you cannot see down that low. Mad, absolutely mad. Now in the next clip, we're on the same junction, believe it or not, but over to the right. I've left the audio exactly how it was when I played it on the original video. I'll zoom in in a second. Here we go. Now, if... we've got a red and amber light. She will have a red man. But there she goes, walking her kid across the road, one in the pram. She's holding that one by the hand. Why are you doing that? She's crossing three lanes of traffic on a green light. A green light for cars, that is. And now here she is over here, holding her kid by the hand. You can just imagine her saying, Chardonnay, hold my hand because it's a dangerous road. You know, there is a saying, you can't teach stupid. I disagree, I think you can teach stupid. And she's doing a pretty good job of it as well. So we're going back 40 plus years now to Alvin Stardust, who also did one of these videos. Just look at them. <laughs> they must be crackers. A double-decker bus could be right on top of them and they'd never even see it. <laughs> hey, you must be out of your tiny minds. When you cross the road, always use the green cross code. Keep your wits about you and keep looking and listening. Great. See you, girls. Take it from me. Be smart. Be safe. And now we got Joe Bugner, who at the time was British heavyweight champion. Hey, what are 
do you think you're doing? Come back here. I tell you what, if you go on like that, you could be in big trouble. Now look, when you get to the curb, stop, okay? Make sure the road is absolutely clear. That's part of the Green Cross Code. Now let's see you do it properly. That's better. Take it from me. Be smart. Be safe. Now, have you noticed anything? Apart from the funky clothes, apart from the fact that he didn't sound very British. Yes, it's all about the pedestrians. The pedestrians have to take responsibility for their self. No emphasis has been on the driver at all in any of these videos. So why the change and is it for the best? So we go forward another 40 years. And before we do that, though, before I show you this clip, so far, it's all been on the pedestrians. But not only that, they've been called names as well. They've been called Dumbo, Crackers and Tiny Minds. You could never get away with that nowadays. So we'll go forward 40 years and show you another couple of clips of how parents are teaching their children how to cross a road. And more importantly, where to cross a road. There is a crossing about 50 feet behind us. We are looking over to the right, just behind these cars, where this parent and her two kids, if there are her two kids, are crossing the road. Now, I'm not sure if that kid with a scooter is actually with her. They're so far apart from each other. It's just, I don't understand it. Why would you cross there? And this is the same place. Same, exactly the same place. Again, and it's foggy as well, but the parent chose there to cross. There's a crossing behind us. Now, I know we're doing pedestrians today, but it wouldn't be the same without an Audi doing something stupid in it. There we go. Always an Audi. I expect nothing less from an Audi. Now, we've forward this on. We're looking at the pram. Look how she bangs it down as well. How about this for crossing the road? That's not dangerous at all, is it? School run, man. School run. Shocking. And now we come to the Chavtastics. The Chavy guys that think it's too weak of them to use the crossing. Who's their tough, hard men? Obviously. Look at him, he's smoking. Oh, he's smoking and walking at the same time. His mum must be well proud. Now, moving on to the next clip. I've left the audio how it was when it when I first played this clip. It wasn't until I got to the very end of, of this clip and he turned right that I realised he had headphones in. And he is old enough to be around, well, he looks like he's old enough to be around for when all them adverts were on. So he should know how to walk on the pavement. But then he is just down the road from them chabby kids. Maybe, just maybe, he might be the parent, you reckon? Don't know. Possible. Now in this one, we're coming up to a roundabout. Not a problem. These guys here, they're crossing where they should do. Not a problem. They even acknowledge me. It's that one there. It's literally going to walk across there. On a roundabout, through the middle of a roundabout. With headphones on again. Same roundabout, but the pedestrians are coming from a different direction. Look at them. It's a roundabout. I, I just have no words to describe this stupidity. Not once have they looked to the left, neither. Not once. Again, we've got a pavement to the left-hand side. Who teaches their kids to walk in the road? Where do they get this from? And it's not just pedestrians. This is a car driver that just doesn't respect the road because of these bloody mobile phones. She has not got a clue what's going on around her. So involved in her conversation, 
Not a clue that she's holding people up. And this one again, girl crossing the road. You, you saw me just drive past the crossing. And yes, with a mobile phone stuck to her ear. And this guy here on the left by the van, he just walks out, but he's looking the wrong way. Look, he's looking the wrong way. Then he turns around and sees me straight at him. And now we've got two old codgers that would have seen them adverts that I've showed you. They look old enough to have been around when them adverts were there, walking in the road, cutting the corner. So we're going back now again, 40 years, this time to Doctor Who, or if you prefer, Wurzel Gummidge. Here's how to remember the Green Cross curve. First find a safe place to cross, then stop. Stand on the pavement near the curb. Look all round for traffic and listen. If traffic is coming, let it pass. When there is no traffic near, walk straight across the road. Keep looking and listening for traffic while you cross. Stay! Well, now we'll all remember the Green Cross code and use it. Splink! So that's the end for today. Thanks for watching. Where did it all go wrong? Hey, eh? where did it all go wrong? Catch you on the next one. Bye.